bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Pregame festivities just about over. Players about to head to their sideline, just about set for action in the Big Ten. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. State College, Pennsylvania, tucked in the Nittany Valley between Bald Eagle Mountain and Tussie Mountain. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Got them all set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 34. Michigan staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 33. Bring the quarterback down. They'll come up way short on third down. That's just a great stand by the defense on third and long. Hines awaits the snap. Sisk fields at the 31, and down he goes at the 42. He showed a good burst there. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 46-yard line, first down. Level the 37 yard line. On the move, he throws complete, and down he goes at about the 23 yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. Inside the 10. 
Big play, and it's first and goal. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. We've got a tight one going on here. The Wildcats have the lead, 3-0. In other games, the Bulldogs were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for New Mexico State, they've now lost six in a row. The Bulldogs win it, 24-20. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Hughes ready to kick. Walker from the seventh. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 33-yard line. The Nittany Lions really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbie. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle around the 48-yard line. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. From the 26 yard line, first down. Gets to about the 24 yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. And he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. that quickly incomplete probably not the best time to put too much on that pass they missed a big opportunity right there <laughs> throws it in a hurry brought down around the 18 yard line big stop by the defense So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Penn State is up a score. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 24. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Kill, kill, kill! Run, 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 run. 
He gets out to about the 37-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Penn State leads 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Washington's on the tackle at the 42-yard line. Third down. From their own 42-yard line. Third down. Falling back, incomplete. Well, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Penn State is up by a touchdown. He's tackled at the 32. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Second and 10, ball on the 32. out here good pitch and catch there on second down yep it was good enough to get him a first down that's just a nice play tackle made right around the 44 yard line the offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run they can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. From their own 44-yard line, second down. By 40, by 40. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 45. That makes it third and eleven. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Got the corner. He fields a punt at the 20, gets out to about the 31. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Penn State up seven points. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they push him out at about the 33-yard line. So it's first and ten after the big run. Here they come. He's looking for six. Drops it. Plain and simple. If he doesn't come in with a hard hit to knock the ball free, that's a touchdown. That makes it second and ten.
slings it. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Inside the 10. That's a great tackle at the four. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. And he converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Kansas State, they've now moved out in front. And for Denman, he's got a touchdown pass in this one. The Wildcats have the lead, 17-14. Middle of the second quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 30. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And he is drilled at the 40. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. Two minutes left in the half. tackled right around the 42-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Michigan will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Flips it middle to the running back. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 39-yard line, first down. out of bounds right around the 30 they pick up good yardage that time on the pass play here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense and in this case he did nice job throws complete he's got space to work he's taken down at the 22 that's good for a gain of eight yards first down first and ten ball on the 22 yard line Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And that sets them up for the first and goal. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. No good on the play. That brings in second and goal. He's 
on the run. And down he goes around the one yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? We've been watching this one going on in Manhattan. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Kansas State, they're looking to win two in a row. A 17-17 tie. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese. 14-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State is up seven. Fires it out. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throws out and through his hands. Robertson's intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and two. right tackled for a loss Michigan's out of timeout Carpenter to punt he's knocked out of bounds around the 44 yard line the Wolverines quarterback Kirk he has done his job unfortunately there's 22 guys on the team and one guy's doing a great job the other 21 aren't so much yeah it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned right now you're right the quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball but uh, the running backs the wide receivers the offensive line the entire group they've got to do a better job right now when you look at that scoreboard they got to be really frustrated to think that they're down now they still have time to get back in the game and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset quarterback stats are one thing winning the game is what's more important we've reached halftime and we couldn't have asked for a better first half the Nittany Lions with a touchdown lead hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play. And that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know. Do whatever you can to try to get the football back in that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, you know, like good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Taken from the three-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. 
Penn State is up a score. He makes his way to about the 32. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Going right to his tailback. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Second down and 16 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Red, two, three, nine. Motion, motion, motion. Three, three. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 45-yard line. This offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Fires right side, got his tailback. They'll bring him down around the 43 yard line. Penn State is up by a touchdown. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds. At the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 39. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going back to 48 right now. Yeah. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He fights forward to about the 36. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Taken down for a loss. Big stop by the defense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Zips it to the tight end, and he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 50-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Gets out to around the 38. First down. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. 
got a receiver, and he dropped it. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. Williams takes the give, and he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. Aggressive call there to send the corner, and it paid off. Boy, did he get in there quick or what? It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And he's immediately tackled. And this play is number eight on the drive. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Bailey was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. And that one's incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal and a touchdown ties it, folks. Caught end zone for the touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. A good one going on in Manhattan. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Kansas State, they run the ball with attitude. A ground and pound attack that results in a touchdown. Denman's razor sharp. It's as if he's throwing against air out there. Four touchdown passes. The Wildcats are on top, 38-17. Getting late in the third quarter. All right, Reese, back to our game. The Michigan, Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down to the 21-yard line. The Wolverine staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Hey, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So at the end of three, 14 apiece. Who's going to win the fourth quarter? Whoever does will win the ball game. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 32. Kill, kill, kill! Three. 
Strike to his receiver, no good. That makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, still like the 48 right now. Let's go. Red, two. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner, three. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He tackles him for a loss, and that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Miller is back deep to return the punt. He's taken down at the 33. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Tackled right around the 44 yard line. First down. From the 44 yard line, it's first down. Out to his receiver, and they make the stop at the 30 yard line. Little handoff, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Second down and 11. Ball on the 30-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. tailback on the screen. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's scrambling. And down he goes around the 20-yard line. might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he's leveled at the 12-yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He wants it all going long. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Tackle at the 28. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played.
from the 28-yard line. First down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Deep pass to the end zone. Touchdown. Huge play. Michigan star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. And he adds the extra point. A short two-play, 28-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Every smart offensive coordinator here will tell his quarterback to work the play clock down to one second before every snap. You want to work the clock as much as you want to try to move the football. It's you against the clock trying to secure the win here. Steps up in the pocket. He gets rid of this one. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Slings it. Penn State's going to take their first time out of the half. Under a minute left. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. The Nittany Lions use their second timeout. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Complete. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. tackle at the 29. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. The spike will stop the clock. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. The Nittany Lions using their third and final timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 21-14, Michigan. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.